Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. As we have seen, Hillary out there getting attacked. In the beginning, I predicted she'd be attacked 24-7. She's been attacked 25-7. She withstood it. She, as she said in the debate, I'm still here. We're approaching the time that we're going to be celebrating 100 years that women got the right to vote 2020. Imagine having a woman in the White House now. Isn't that a wonderful thought? As long as she's a woman, even if it's a Vita Perón or a pick any other woman you want, any dictator, as long as she's a woman. Is there a woman listening to this program who doesn't understand the sexism of that hag from Marin County, Barbara Boxer, one of the worst people in the history of the United States government, a woman who's been a plague, a virtual plague upon the American people for 40 years now, along with her uh, co-sister there, Diane Feinstein, another prize. They're both very... You know, they're so pure and they're so much cleaner, politically that is, than men, that it would really be great to have a woman as president. But let's put that aside. It's just a little opener for you. The big topic is everyone has it half right. Biden won't run. Are you sure? See, everyone's saying Biden announces he won't run. That's the, the lemmings are running. Biden won't run. Biden won't run. Every news, Fox, CNN, you know, Biden won't run. No Joe, no Joe. Biden won't run, won't run, won't run. And what do you have to say, Jake Woodpecker? But, well, I heard today that Biden won't run. And what do you say, Wolf? Well, we were told today that Biden won't run. And Anderson, what do you say? Well, well we were told that Joe Biden won't run. And what do you have to say, Bill O'Reilly? Well, uh, we can say killing old Joe Biden or something. Maybe there's a book in it. I don't know. Everyone says Biden won't run. Well, they have it half right. I have a different opinion. Nothing that this gang does is by chance. Biden was sent out there today to reintroduce himself to the public as an all-around trustworthy guy. The evil Democrat machine put him in the dugout and in the spotlight today in case Hillary gets destroyed either by the Benghazi hearing or another one of her numerous scandals. They're just putting him up in the dugout, getting him ready to warm up in case she falls. Period. End of story. That's one man's opinion. Welcome to the program. Phone number is 855-400-7282. Here's topic number two. Yesterday, out of the blue, I introduced a topic which proves to me that I'm the most prophetic individual in, in talk radio. And there's nobody more far-seeing than Michael Savage in radio today or ever. I did this yesterday on pure intuition. I don't know if you remember the piece. I talked about Hitler's Mufti. Do you remember that out of nowhere? I don't know why I did it. I talked about how the Palestinian Mufti, Amin al-Husseini, worked with Hitler in the 1920s with the formation of the Muslim Brotherhood to exterminate the Jews. That al-Husseini actually took the plans for gas chambers from Germany and wanted to build them in the Middle East to exterminate all the Jews before Israel even existed. I wake up today... And I hear that Netanyahu makes similar comments for which he is being attacked. Netanyahu says the Palestinian leader, the very same leader I mentioned, this vicious, psychotic, genocidal maniac, Haj Amin al Husani. Netanyahu says he gave Hitler the idea for the Holocaust. Now, I don't know who gave who the idea. I would say that al Husani was on par with Hitler. He was the Arab Hitler, let's put it to you that way. It doesn't really matter. But immediately upon saying that, Netanyahu is attacked by saying that the former Muslim Brotherhood psychotic convinced Adolf Hitler to exterminate the Jews. Isn't it interesting that on yesterday's program, I talked about the very same al Husani, who it, historically, it's true, wanted to build gas chambers in the Middle East to exterminate all the Jews before Israel even existed. Netanyahu's comments are 100% correct. It doesn't matter whether El Hosani gave Hitler the idea to exterminate the Jews or Hitler gave Al Hosani the idea. They're in the same exact league. They wanted to exterminate the Jews even before Hitler was around. 
Listen to my tape from yesterday, which you're going to hear today, and you'll understand why this show is breaking all records on many fronts. I was ahead of the entire media world on this. Now, what does that tell you? It tells you anything you wanted to tell you. So I'll let you decide what it tells you. I'm not going to tell you what it tells you. Those are two topics I want to talk about today. But I'm not going to do that at the beginning of the show. I'm going to do it as the show evolves. CNN says Biden won't run. What geniuses? After Biden announces he won't run. Now, that's really breaking news. No analysis, just Biden won't run. That's not the news. The news is an analysis of why they even put him out there. What they put him out there for if he won't run? He could have put out a press release saying, I'm not going to run. Use your heads, idiots. Take a look at the puppet master to his right. Take a look at Hussein Obama to his right. Looking on like the long-suffering president. The poor, oppressed minority president who has suffered at the hands of the evil Republicans and the evil, the evil people of America. Poor, old, suffering Obama. And there's old Jill looking on. The loyal wife looking on. I don't know what it would be like to be a wife, I'll tell you the truth. I thank God I was born a man. That's all I could say. I don't know how it is to be an intelligent woman in this world. To have to pretend that you're looking up to a moron like him. All her life, she, oh, she looked up to him for everything. He's such a genius, Joe Biden, that there's old Jill Biden staring at the God himself, Joe Biden. Can you imagine getting up every day and having to look at that guy, seeing him put his dentures in? It's unbelievable to me. But nevertheless, these are just the foibles of humanity that we all look at and just chuckle over. But the news is very serious, obviously, and I know you don't want to hear it. And if you did want to hear it, you don't need talk radio for the news, do you? Why, you can get it from reliable sources like the old York Times or any of the other scandal sheets that are out there. So we do the best we can in talk radio. We give you some news and some commentary, analysis, humor, whatever we want to do. And many people seem to enjoy it and turn to us. Of course, in my show, I have a central theme. My theme is borders, language, and culture, which apparently is now criminal. According to uh, the long-suffering president, borders are something antiquated. Language? You mean English? You must be joking. Culture? You mean a culture based upon Judeo-Christian values? No, not to Al Husseini in the White House. Why, just yesterday we read that the high school football player, or middle school football player, ran 73 yards for a touchdown, a Hispanic kid. And after he got into the end zone, he raised one finger to thank God. He pointed to heaven. And guess what happened? They penalized him 15 yards. They penalized the kid 15 yards for pointing to heaven, thanking God for having given him whatever it is that God gave him to run that touchdown. This is how far this country has fallen under Hussein Obama, where Christians are being oppressed on a daily basis. Oh, I'm not saying Obama put out a directive. Don't get me wrong. But they know which way the wind blows. The people in this country are following the leader. This leader is extremely powerful, make no mistake about it. He has one of the most powerful wills I've seen in my lifetime. That's right, the poor oppressed president has one of the strongest wills I've ever seen. He is a raging psychopath along the lines of all other dangerous, very dangerous leaders. And speaking of dangerous leaders, we look at Germany, we look at America, we look at the rush to bring in Syrian Muslims, Bosnian Muslims, Muslims, no one knows where they're really coming from. 90% of them are men without women and children. Of course, now the news is modifying that to show you only pictures of men, women, and children. But we all know it's 85 to 90% single men uh, of military age being rushed into Europe. And then I thought about Merkel. I thought about her, and a vision came to me. And here's the vision. Hitler invaded other countries to take their territory to dominate other countries with Germanic people and with the crazed mentality of the Nazi philosophy. Merkel is invading her own country. Has anyone ever said that? Think about what I just said to you. They say that they are not fascists, but they are fascists. But instead of invading other countries, they're invading their own country. Obama is doing the exact same thing. Obama is invading his own country. 
First, with illegal aliens from Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, and China. He's invading his own country. He's making his own people stand down. He's making the local police stand down. He's making the border patrol stand down. So it doesn't matter which way the psychopath which which way the psychopaths operate. It's still psychopathic behavior. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? No, I guess not. You didn't read it in the morning newspaper along with a picture of some slut from Hollywood slipping on a banana peel on, on Sunset Boulevard, so I guess it doesn't resonate with you. It's not talking about the Founding Fathers, I guess, so it's not resonating with you. I'll say it again, though, until you finally get it. Hitler was a certifiable psychopath. Everybody knows that. That's a given. And what did he do? He expanded his nation. He invaded other countries. What does Merkel do? What is Obama doing? And what does Obama want to do? That is equally insane to that of Hitler, but in the reverse. He invades his own country with foreigners who are not even citizens. He wipes away the laws of his own land. He permits illegal aliens to vote. If that's not psychopathic behavior, tell me what is. It's all contained in Government Zero. No borders, no language, no culture. The most insightful book of our generation. And I will say so myself, because you're not going to hear about it on Fox News or anywhere else. Now, that's the opening to my show. If you care to join the program before I get back to all the news of the day, the phone number is... I forgot the phone number. I think it's 855-400-SAVAGE. That's the number. 855-400-7282. I got an email from someone this morning who's far smarter than I am. Not easy for me to say that because I believe in myself. I have tremendous belief in myself. I work very hard to believe in that. But I know some few people who are smarter than me, particularly one. And he looks ahead. He's, far, he's more far-seeing than I am. And he said to me, it's over. He said, what Merkel is doing to Germany... What the weakling is doing to England, what the socialist is doing to France, what Obama the psychopath is doing to America will render this country non-existent in less than 50 years. And I said to him, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. But the fact of the matter is the world is changing in ways you can never imagine. And think more particularly about what I said to you, in case you missed it. Hitler was a psychopath. No one on earth would disagree with that except Nazis who still exist. What did Hitler do? He invaded other countries to impose his nation's, let us say, distorted values and race upon other countries. That's a given. What is Obama doing? He's, ha he's invading his own country with people of other races and other cultures and other languages to wipe away the predominant language, the predominant culture of his own nation. He is equally mad. To Barack Obama is as equally as mad as Adolf Hitler in that regard. Write it down. Maybe it'll make it to CNN. Talk show host says Obama as crazy as Hitler because he's invading his own country with foreigners. But they better get the whole quote correct. And I don't know if they're capable of it. What Merkel is doing is invading Germany with foreigners. She's invading her own nation. Has anybody on earth seen this the way I do? No. And that's why I'm here today. I'm here today for a reason. The reason is to try to awaken you. I know it's very late in the, in the cycle. I've realized it's extremely late in the process. I realize that many of us have been sounding the clarion call for years. Not just me alone, many of us. But we've lost the battle. You don't understand this. We have lost the battle. And all you could do now is prepare for the tsunami of foreigners, of illegal aliens, of those opposed to Christianity and Judaism, that the psychopaths who are ruining America are rushing across the borders as quickly as they can to make certain that the white male in particular no longer has a voice in his own nation. I will stand by those words. I swear on them on a stack of Bible Bibles. I'm Michael Savage. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Ladies, you just... No other religion is allowed to have a prophet. There's only one. To the most dominating religion on the planet. The only one that can't get along with any other religion on the planet. There's only one. Christianity was built upon the premise of... 
turn the other cheek, love thy neighbor as thyself, and it conquered a billion people on the earth through a message of love. The other religion conquered through the sword, through the flame, through torture, through rape, through murder, and through pillage. It's a fact of reality. Study history. Don't tell me you read it in the Daily News and you disagree.